I'm Marnie Thompson from Understanding Ag. Welcome to Green Thumb Chronicles, where I want to show you how to regenerate your soils and grow healthier food for you and your family. Did you know in the last 20 to 30 years, the nutrient density in our fruit, vegetables, and meat has declined almost 40%. This decline is due to the degradation of our soils in combination with the increase of fertilizer, fungicides, pesticides, and herbicides. Please join me as we discuss six easy principles that we find in nature that you can apply in your garden to improve the soils and, it, and grow nutrient dense food. The answer to improving soils is found in nature. You can look back on the native prairie back when Lewis and Clark came and you think about that native prairie. We didn't fertilize it. We didn't irrigate it. We didn't spray fungicides, pesticides or any of that stuff and it still grew grass every year. How did it do that? It all starts with the plant. Energy from the sun through photosynthesis, the plant takes that in and it converts 40% of that energy into a sugar that it releases into its roots. That sugar, the microorganisms or the bugs in the soil come get that sugar and in exchange, they feed the plant nutrients and water that it needs. So improving our soils is all about making the home for the bugs in the soil better so that they can provide nutrients for the plant. There are six easy principles for improving the home of the biology. Number one is context. Know where you're at, know the history of where you were at. Um, I live in Montana, so it's very dry here. I have a small growing season, so there's only certain things I can grow, and there's different things that I would do because of where I live. Number two, soil cover. Nature does not like bare soil and it plants weeds in its case. So it's nature's band-aid is weeds. It affects erosion, temperature, weed control, and evapotranspiration. Number three, disturbance. If you think about the native prairie, there was no disturbance. Um, and that includes physical and chemical disturbance. Number four, have a living plant in the soil as long as you can throughout the growing season because that is what's feeding the biology. Number five, having diversity. Lewis and Clark noted over 250 species when they came across the prairie. And in our crop systems and sometimes in our gardens, we grow one species. Now you can imagine what that does to the biology in the soil. All they're eating is one type of sugar. And number six, incorporate livestock. That's a little bit more difficult to do in our garden systems, but there are options with chickens, goats, and sheep. I'm in my garden here today that's been no-till, regenerative gardening for 13 years. Stay tuned for more episodes of Green Thumb Chronicles where I will show you how to incorporate each principle in your garden.